The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act that I will sign today, a plan that meets the principles I laid out in January, is the most sweeping economic recovery package in our history. And what makes this recovery plan so important is not just that it will create or save three and a half million jobs over the next two years. It's that we're putting Americans to work doing the work that America needs done. Work that will bring real and lasting change for generations to come. We are remaking the American landscape with the largest new investment in our nation's infrastructure since Eisenhower built an interstate highway system in the 1950s. Construction workers who've been jobless since the housing boom went bust, let's put them back to work rebuilding America. Uh, right now, there are over a million construction workers out of work after the housing boom went bust. And there are millions of construction workers who are still out there looking for a job. And that's why I sent Congress the American Jobs Act 10 days ago. This, this bill is not that complicated. It's a bill that would put people back to work rebuilding America, repairing our roads, repairing our bridges, repairing our schools. But our long-term economic growth demands that we tame our burgeoning federal deficit. And economists from all across the political spectrum agree that giving tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires does very little to actually grow our economy. What we're talking about under a balanced approach is asking Americans whose incomes have gone up the most over the last decade, millionaires and billionaires, to share in the sacrifice everyone else has to make. And I think these patriotic Americans are willing to pitch in. Already we've seen how the investments we're making in clean energy can lead to new jobs and new businesses. I've seen some of them myself. Small businesses that are making the most of solar and wind power and energy efficient technologies. Now, I don't have any problem with any company or industry being rewarded for their success. The incentive of healthy profits is what fuels entrepreneurialism and helps drive our economy forward. But I do have a problem with unwarranted taxpayer subsidies that we've been handing out to oil and gas companies. When oil companies are making huge profits already and you're struggling at the pump, and we're scouring the federal budget for spending we can afford to do without. These tax giveaways aren't right. They aren't smart, and we need to end them.